hello guys today in this video I'm going to show you how we can create counter in angular application so as you can see this was the last work what we had left the demonstration okay and we had done some change in the login component and its HTML file so basically now what I want to do I want to remove this button click here okay and do the new implementation so I have removed these things let me save it okay okay now what I need to do basically it's not saved let me save this okay so now what I will do I will I am having some I already written, written some code for the quick thing okay so let me first copy this uh, button creation okay so I will put it here uh, in the login controller basically okay and you can see right now it's not able to find so let me also change it from login to counter so this is just I'm doing for the demonstration okay and let me also change it as h1 tag mm. okay and now you can see I'm getting here error as counter so let me create this method here in its like TypeScript file so I will create a method with name of counter and here I will uh, do some calculation and but before this I am going to take a variable as uh, not integer here it will not work I will take it as count and I will also pass it as a number okay and I will assign it as zero value so like this we can uh, create a variable in TypeScript here in angular okay and in the counter I will I will take it as a, a string so I will let me put it here or let me check what I have done here uh, action okay let me take it as, as the name action and I will have it as a string okay and inside this counter I will uh, I will I will check whether I mean the value of action so suppose I am checking action equal to something okay if that will not match then I will again check else if action is something else okay and then if uh, if everything is not working then else will work and in the else what I will do I will reset so how can I reset I will reset basically count as 0 okay that means the value got reset at 0 what it was earlier okay and here what I will do let me go to this file component HTML CSS sorry html file and here you can see the value what I am passing here as a string is plus minus and reset so what I will do I will just compare as plus here in the first and in the second I will compare it as a minus okay and you already might be knowing that what is the difference between triple equal to and double equal to so triple equal to is basically comparing of a string its value as well as its type okay so let me also put here uh, the increase so I will increase the count plus plus okay so after each like uh, time calling this or coming here in this if block then it will be increased by one okay in the same way I will decrease here minus minus and I will save this okay and now again I will go to this HTML 
okay and here you can see uh, like counter is coming now I am not getting any error okay so whenever plus button will be clicked then it will be incremented then if minus will be there then it will get decreased in case of reset it will be set to a zero okay as you can see here if in the reset reset I have not typed here basically if minus will not be there plus will not be there then definitely it will be, it will be going to be a reset option selected here I mean button clicked over there okay and also what I want I want to display the number so how can I display it to display it let me take it at h2 tag here okay and here what I will do I will use interpolation okay and here as you already know here we can access this variable easily uh, not in the app module in the same component type script we can access this count let me copy this count from here and put it here okay let me save it okay and now you can see it's compiled successfully so let me go to this uh, thing here okay and you can see it is refreshed now and I'm already selected the login so let me again do the same thing uh, let me click on login and you can see the counter here we have three button and it is already set to zero okay by, because the by default the count the value of count is zero okay you can see this number is coming the value is coming from there and once I will click on plus it will be increased by 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and whatever time so I will click it will be it will keep getting increased okay in the same way when I will click on minus it will keep getting decreased you can see it will be decreased uh, to zero and then minus okay and if I will click on reset then it will set as zero so you can see it's working perfectly as expected okay so this is all what you need to do so basically in this video if I will conclude then you have learned how to declare a variable okay how to call a method how to define the type okay of any variable and how to compare or use the if else block here okay how to do the increment and decrement and how to set the value okay and how to use interpolation to display it display the count or the value in the HTML page okay or template file so I hope you learned something new guys in this video so that is all in this video guys thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you